1,100 miles from the front, Vice President Harris today detailed Russian crimes and called for accountability. Russian forces have pursued a widespread and systemic attack against a civilian population. Gruesome acts of murder, torture, rape, and deportation. Among her examples of crimes against humanity, a Russian strike on a Mariupol theater that killed hundreds of women and children as they hid. And the Russian massacre and mass graves of Bucha. Ukraine has gone a step further and accused Russia of genocide. That was a word repeated today in Munich by Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba, who also predicted the West would go further than it's been willing on weapons and send jets. I will take a risk of saying that Ukraine will receive planes. It's a matter of time and procedure. But that's time Ukrainian soldiers don't have. They're barely holding Bakhmut, the epicenter of the fighting. Much of the city has been abandoned or destroyed, and Russians are closing in on three sides. I don't have any emotions in this war. I treat it as my job. For me to execute a shot is the same as sending a piece of mail. There are no emotions whatsoever. And this Russian offensive looks like much of the previous Russian offensives, largely focused on artillery around the city of Bakhmut, where U.S. officials now say the private military company Wagner has suffered 30,000 casualties. But the front extends 50 miles north and south, so Ukraine will have to hold off that Russian wave while also preparing to launch its own counterattack. That will probably have to wait for some Western armored vehicles that uh, the U.S. certainly hopes arrives in the next few weeks. Uh, and the U.S. and Ukraine...